Shark bit a man in the waters off the Cape earlier in the summer, and researchers are now getting a rare opportunity to figure out which species of shark attacked William Lytton. This is all thanks to DNA testing of the evidence left behind on that August day. Michaela McDonald, live in the newsroom this morning with an update. Danielle and Patrick, when that shark bit Lytton in the waters off of Truro, it left behind pieces of its teeth. And that's something that researchers are planning to analyze. According to the Boston Herald, marine biologist and shark expert Gregory Scommel will collect the shark tooth fragment this week, and DNA testing will be done to confirm that this was a great white shark and possibly could tell the size of the shark. The man who was bitten by the shark, William Lytton, underwent physical therapy at Spalding Rehab in Boston after a number of surgeries. He said that he punched the shark in the gills to escape and estimates he was only about 10 feet from the shore when he was attacked on August 15th. Litton spoke about his experience on CBS This Morning last month. It felt like I was in a wrestling match because this animal was trying to flip me as I turned my head around to see a big head on my leg that belongs to the shark. And this was my advantage, as it turns out. And according to the Boston Herald, Lytton will receive those shark teeth back when the researchers are done with them, and he told them that he planned to make jewelry out of them. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.